Finally tonight, the heart of Texas used to beat to the sound of local dance halls. Most big towns had a honky tonk, but as David Begnell reports, those days are drifting away. We want to welcome y'all the Broken Spoke, the land to the... Shuffle your way through the Broken Spoke dance hall in Austin, Texas, and you'll meet James White, the local rhinestone cowboy. You're looking at a living legend right here. Since he opened the place in 1964, guests have flocked in five days a week to enjoy one of Texas's oldest traditions, two-stepping to the sound of country. Come out here to a honky-tonk, you drink beer, listen to a country music band, you get up and dance and you have a good time. It's a true mom-and-pop operation. I tell people uh, that uh, my wife's the working half the family and I'm in charge of BS and PR and we ain't gonna change nothing, you know? And he's pretty good at BS. <laughs> oh, I know he is. That country charm is what's allowed the Broken Spoke to thrive. Elsewhere across Texas, in mostly rural areas, historic dance halls are endangered. Many of them have actually disappeared either through lack of interest or support, fallen down, burned. Deb Fleming is president of Texas Dance Hall Preservation, Inc. How much of the heritage of Texas can be traced back to a dance hall? I think pretty much all of it can be because everybody came to the dance hall or to the community center to share and enjoy what they had done and the community that they lived in. Does it make you emotional? It does. <laughs> Why? Because it's just, it's such a great thing. And to see them dying. Twin Sisters is surviving. It is the oldest dance hall in Texas, one hour west of Austin. It opened to the public in 1870. Its estimated 1,000 dance halls were built in Texas between the late 1800s and the early 1900s. Now just 400 still stand, and only two operate daily, Lukenbach Dance Hall in Lukenbach, Texas, and this one, Green Hall, in New Braunfels, where Willie Nelson still uses a window entrance when he performs. One night, Randy Travis was when it comes to preserving Texas's decaying dance halls, James White's broken spoke is still rolling. And no matter who it is, nobody has to tell them where they're at. <laughs> they know darn good well they're not at Carnegie Hall. <laughs> All I gotta do is uh, naturally. And that's true Texas talking from a cowboy dedicated to saving what's left, one two step at a time. David Begno, CBS News, Austin.